just played an example of what you can do with triads, uh, namely using them when playing chords. And the example, I, the melody I used here, I harmonized the known children's song, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, using only major triads. And the triads we're using, you probably have been practicing your triads uh, as I have done previously in my other videos by, for instance, a C major triad. Let's take from here. We have the root position, then we have the first inversion, and then we have the second inversion. Let me try it from here. And then the root again. And we have been practicing like from root to root and then from third to third there's different fingerings to choose from from fifth to fifth and then from root to root again and uh, i cannot emphasize enough that it's really good for you to to get these uh, fingerings and uh, try it just make it try it in your fingers because you it opens up the fingerboard tremendously um, in this instance we're gonna use them to make melodies so instead of play, playing them one by note arpeggiated we play them as chords and of course it's it's a little bit muddy in the lower regions but we start with the root position of the C major triad, which is the strum away like a guitar, root, C, E, G, playing an octave above. Okay, then we take the first inversion that starts on the triad, we find a, an appropriate fingering, so we use three strings, one string for each note, like this. That's E, G, and C. Then we go to the second inversion, which starts on the fifth. That means the we have, we have the root position, first inversion, and then the second inversion that starts on the fifth, namely the G. So it's G, C, and then we have the played as a chord. Fingering is Find out your own finger. I, right now I can, I can use second finger, third finger first, or you can bar the second finger like this. So we have the first, sorry, the root position, the first inversion, the second inversion. And then we have the root again up here. And we can just about reach the first inversion again here. Okay. That you should do with all, of course, all keys. In this instance, we'll just use the three major chords that are built on the C major scale. Where are there major chords on this major C major scale? There's one on the first step, C major, F major, and the G major. Uh, the thing about harmonizing the major scale I talk about in other videos, I'll put the link on to it. But Twinkle Twinkle Little Star is a melody that is built on these three chords. So it's Twinkle Twinkle Little Star Da 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 do C D C and F and C 
F and C and G and C. And then comes a B section. We can start with the first section. So it's C for one bar, and the F for a half bar down to C. And the melody is. Just using the C major scale. So for the first bar, we're playing a C in the bass. It's a C chord. We just learned the arpeggio of C. Okay, and the melody only uses notes from the C major scale. So let's start with the melody. Find the melody on the top string so we can use our inversions to play it. We forget about playing the bass line now. We are playing the melody harmonized with chords from a C, F and G major arpeggios. So let's find the melody for the first bar. We have and then it changed to the F chord. But the first thing we know it's a C major chord playing the whole bar. So we find our we find the top note here, which is the melody C. What arpeggio of the C major arpeggio can we use? Can we use this? No, because Oh, here we got it. We got the melody in the top. Okay. Then we find the second note of the melody, which is the fifth. Is there one arpeggio we can use? You use the nearest one. That's the root position. So we have. Okay. Then comes the second bar, where we change to the F major. So it's um, C. C, and then we come this melody note, and we change to the F. Let's just explore where we have the major F major arpeggio. We have it, and we're using only the top three strings. We're not using the low one here. So let's find the F. It's here. We have this. Then the first inversion. Second inversion. Ah, in the second inversion of the F, we find our melody note on top. That means we are playing this. This is the F from the fifth. So C C C F back to C. So we have the C C F. C, and we're harmonizing melody with and then comes the next part of the melody and that's from the an F chord if we just play the bass note Find our F major arpeggio somewhere. We have the ah yeah, the first inversion, and then back to C. Then we find that should be in C. Then we find the second inversion. So it's okay, and then I know we go to the G chord. Ba ba C. G, C, second inversion of the C major, then the root of the G major, and back to the first inversion of the C major. So this is just using triads in their inversion, a meaning starting on a different step of the triad. Try it out for yourself and look at the tab. Hi. Thank mm -hmm. you.